Yeah, God's favors are basically new classes. That's cool. So the merchant merchant is closed, surprising no one. That's upgrades. What is this? Favor selection. Ank, double pistols, and phoenix. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, let's see, I don't have any money anyway. What are the abilities on the base class? Uh, pistol, shotgun... Let's see, pistol, shotgun, dynamite, which I'd never use, probably should have. Oh, I wonder if I could have actually switched the dynamite out for a different weapon. But you quickly switch those out. My main goal here is uh, go to as many rooms as I can. Allows you to run backwards. <gasps> yes! Okay, that is really handy. That's really helpful. Sort of, give or take. Why don't I try the Twitch thingy? I don't want to get bogged down. I'll do a Twitch thingy after this. Uh, Twitch integration. It just didn't seem like it was going to work, and if it was going to crash me out, then it's just not worth it. So these things have got, they've got some kick to, kick to them. I can just knock enemies back. He's trying to get, get here. He's not succeeding so well. Yeah, so we'll probably roll segment just for the, uh, the bonus healing and related perks. So do we have anybody else on the lower floor before I go up? Doesn't look like it. Running low on ammo. Probably shouldn't surprise anybody. Oh. Okay, well, we were using the Ankh earlier anyway, so the Ankh seems perfectly uh, reasonable as far as weapons go. Now, as usual, circle strafing is the preferred choice of fighting in these games. The enemies can't quite deal with it, though I've noticed the enemies in this game have ridiculously good aim. I was always a really big of I'm I was always a big fan of how it worked in um, in Tower of Guns. Because the enemies fired massive, slow-moving bullets that were easy to avoid, but there were generally so many of them that it was just like, oh, you know, shit, I actually have to, I actually have to, like, figure out how to bob and weave through this entire mess. That always felt really good to me. Uh, it's kind of a shame more games haven't kind of adopted that. But that's okay. Uh, we just want to go over here. Actually, speaking of, there's another, uh, apart from, um... Mother Gunship, there's also another uh, another one of these games coming out. Uh, first person shooter roguelikes. It's called Gunhead, I believe. Uh, it's pretty much Cryptarch, but it's a first person shooter. Which is really exciting for me, because I liked Cryptarch, but... Um, the gameplay got a little stale. Having it be like Shooter's Eve would actually be really cool. Like, I'd love to have that capability. Ooh, treasure chest. We get this and a bow and arrow. Uh, sure. Something a little bit more snipey, give or take. Nope, missed. Oh, that's okay. Nothing here, nothing here. Ah. I wonder if that guy can hurt himself with his own explosives. I don't have the answer to that one. I don't know if I'm going to keep the bow and arrow. I'll probably switch it out for something else. There's got to be other better weapons. But that's okay, too. Yeah, these guys really do just kind of run randomly. Yeah, that's fair enough. 
Let's see, I should try the Phoenix weapon to see if it's worth keeping. That is a good point. I forget that you can actually switch out your third, too. Yes. I would say the Phoenix is probably worth using. Unlike most other weapons, are we... Oh, we're reloading. Okay. Unlike most other weapons, Phoenix is homing. And, ugh, I hate how accurate this guy is. He is altogether way too accurate. I'll just send them out and hopefully they'll just wreck him. Damn it. Uh. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have much kick to our hits. Oh, and there's three of these guys around. I was wondering why it was taking so long to kill them. Because there's not a small number of them. Uh... Yeah, so I was wondering why we weren't getting p basic, like, uh, passive damage ups and stuff in this game. The answer is it's because it's all locked behind a, uh, a risk of, not risk of rain, a rogue, rogue legacy style upgrade system. Which I'm actually really down for. Uh, I really like the rogue legacy upgrade tree. And I wish more games had kind of adopted that. Okay. There's the last one, there's the last one. He's moved again. Yeah, you can see where he's going to end up. If you're sprinting, he won't hit you. Let's turn these to food. They don't heal that much, but I'll take it. This game has the same kind of looking gameplay as Ziggurat. Yep. Which is good. I wish that the... I, I'd love it if I could actually unlock some more uh, just spare jumps. Because being able to jump like half a billion times is always one of my favorite things to do in uh, Tower of Guns. And Ziggurat, in comparison, always felt way too groundbound, especially for how much like lateral distance you could cover. Like you could, you could cover ground in Ziggurat, which is very strange. Okay, eh, we'll be full health. I was like, do I convert the gold over? And the answer is, nah, I don't need to. Okay, I think we're done with this. I don't think there's anybody up here. I love how fast the player character moves in this game. It, like, it feels satisfying. Just how quick you can zip. Bunch of money, nothing else. Okay, crit health. Every crit recovers a little health. Nice. Yeah, I'll get the uh I'll get the Twitch integration working for for next time. I think that would that would be fun for everybody. I just I actually just want to play this game right now. And I don't want to fiddle with uh whether or not the Twitch integration actually works. I actually feel kind of bad. That I, uh... I didn't cover this on launch, because this is actually pretty good. Like, this is legitimately, uh... one of the better roguelikes I've played in a while. I mean, obviously it's more shooter, arcade shooter than anything else. And the only real roguelike bit to it is you're expected to lose so you can get more passive upgrades. But I'm fine with that, I guess. I, I, I like I like games like this. They're fun. I still wish it wasn't Immortal Redneck, though. Like, they could have gone with so much. Like, Tower of Guns is a super memorable name. And, like, you weren't really even any any person. It reminds me, somebody had, uh, 
Somebody was doing like an indie game, uh, like fighting, fighting game or something like that. They had requested to use me as kind of the stand-in character for Tower of Guns. I assume that fan project never went anywhere, which is a bit of a shame because that would have been cool to to be put in a in a video game as like a, a cameo protagonist instead of you know whatever the protagonist of a game is because I mean Tower of Guns honestly did not have you uh, uh, see yourself ever, and I think if you went into third person, you were just kind of nothing. I think you really were just a floating gun. Let's see, this has voices. Yes! I refuse to turn it on, though. It's insufferable. I can shoot that guy in the weapon. I'm sorry? I'm not really sure why that didn't hit him. Confusing. Oh, that's okay. Uh, let's see. We had... Low... We have low ammo, but that's... Doesn't bug me if I... I've got unlimited ammo. Really, just in general. Out of ammo. Switch ammo. Oh, he's stuck in there. And he's moved now. Yeah, there he is. There he goes. Yeah, I like the bow. It's uh, nice and snipey. Probably not going to use it that often. I'm not going to take the stairs. We want to. We want to keep going places. Okay, I should probably ah ah ah. Oh boy. Woo! That's a lot of enemies. Yes, this is where the rocket launcher would have been a welcome addition. At least you can rapid fire the bow. That's helpful. And yeah, look at my max HP. It's looking real good. Yeah, like I said, it'll take a run or two, and then I'll pretty much be able to deal with everything. Is Wonder not going to have a background shot for Wreck-It Ralph? There's no way I will ever show up in a, in a movie as a cameo. I'm not nearly famous enough. Uh, or nearly as much of a cultural icon as you think I am. It'd be flattering if I showed up in a movie, but there's no way that's going to happen. Huh. Oh, I broke it. Okay, well, that challenge room failed. I guess I wasn't supposed to back out of it. I thought a fireball was going to hit me in the face. Okay, we got frogs. Oh, the frogs are below me. There's our answer. Nice part is I get HP on crit. Not much. I think it's only one. Is that it? Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay, is this game good? I like it. It's... I mean, the, the premise is stupid, but the execution is fun. I'm just a little focused on trying to kill that archer before he comes after me. Oh, he does like a try shot setup. That's neat. All right, well, let's just grab whatever. We're pretty much at full health here. Okay, there we go. It'd be cool if I could actually uh, grab like a melee weapon in this game. I'm not sure how that would pan out though. I think it would be a problem. I bet there is one melee weapon thrown in somewhere. I don't know what it would be, though. Okay, so we found another staircase. Don't think I care too much about this. Uh, there's more paths out of here. Yeah, let's go back.
But yeah, the chances of me showing up in, like, Wreck-It Ralph or a bunch of other things is super low. Uh, for uh, what should be painfully obvious reasons. Yeah, we've, we've already done this room. Uh, room I'm looking for is, like, down here-ish. Oh, it's over here. Okay. I mean, for starters, they're grabbing, like, official video game characters. They're not, they're not going for, uh, small-time YouTubers and stuff. I mean, they might go for somebody like Game Grumps. Uh, to have them in the background. But, like, that'd probably be the most of it. Generally, YouTubers are kind of bad to work with, like, on a professional sense anyway. Uh, we're not exactly professionals. Oh, there's more. Uh, we're not exactly professionals. Most of us are entirely self-employed. Uh, and are not used to following other people's orders. Uh, so the idea of, like, specifically a developer... A developer or a, uh... Or especially a movie movie studio trying to ah, trying to get us to like do anything just sounds like it would go badly. Yeah, the reason why I say like Game Grumps is uh, high possibility is like they have their own they have their own movie they have. Movie, TV show, thing, mini-series, I guess would be the phrase. Uh, I am just whiffing every one of these. Ooh, scroll. Good one, bad one. Double edge. Your weapons inflict more damage but have less maximum ammo. Well, that's incredibly useful for the weapon that has... Uh, no maximum or minimum ammo. Cool! Where's the- where's the door? I thought it was here. Oh, it's certainly- oh, we're not done yet. There's a- what? What? Oh. There's a whole second section of this area I didn't even notice. Eat onks, sucker! Uh, we are gonna have to get down here. Ugh. Oh, I was walking on lava. It's like the bad version of walking on sunshine. Yeah, I, I wasn't even paying attention to the enemy clear rate. I was just... I didn't see any more enemies. I figured I was done. Alright, so my onk now just straight up does... Maybe not double damage, but it does more damage. Which should be a really helpful situation. Screw you, Disco Mummy. Small ammunition boxes are replaced with larger ones. Okay, so we have a lower maximum, but we get more ammo just overall. Nice. Okay. But no, if I if I ever get contacted for something like uh, being product placed into a movie, I you guys will be the first ones to know. Unless it's NDA'd, at which point, why even bother asking me? Just in general in life, it's it. This sounds weird, and I know you guys like want want to be like kept up to date with all the goings on 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 my channel, but it's almost never worth asking me anything because if I can't talk about it, uh. If I can talk about it, I'll talk about it before anybody ever asks. And if I can't talk about it, then there's no point in asking to begin with. That makes sense. Okay, well, I'm doing... I'm doing really well, actually. This run seems like it's got a little bit more oomph to it. Now, how's the enemy variety in this game? Because that was one thing, um... That's one concern of mine. I'm trying to take that out. Well, whatever.
There we go. Got it. Because so far, we haven't seen anything more on future levels. But that's okay. I'm curious about these snake fountains. We've seen them as a common motif in item rooms. But that might just be... Kind of a whatever situation. Okay, I'm probably going to hit this second one. Luckily, I'm I'm not dependent on ammo drops at all. For, like, any reason. And my HP is doing really well, too. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Okay, cool. Let's just smash through these. It looks like we're done, so let's go back. Let's just careen off of every pillar on the way. Hello! Oh, it's these guys. Alright, so this is going to get a bit hairier. I think I'll try and buy the, the item merchant. Uh, I think I'll try and buy the item merchant for, uh, for future runs. After this run, probably. Because I assume that'll be a good way for me to spend the, the leftover bits. Maybe. Okay, I think the last one's up here. Yep. It's a, uh, it's a bull with a grenade launcher. Ow! I thought I avoided it. Well, we're doing alright enough, I guess. Uh, we want to go over here. Okay, so each pyramid is different. And there are three different pyramids. Oh! Yeah, I gotta watch out for the dudes in the center. They're scary. I don't think I'm doing, like, double damage here. But I'm doing ex extra damage. Stay away from the extremely slow explosions. Let's go upstairs first. Go after the weird croca... Delia Newt Shooters. Newt, they're, I'll call them a Newt, Newt Shooters. By accident, I might refer to them as Newt Neuters, though. Where's that from, Newt Newt? I don't remember. It's been too long. Is that everything? Nope. There's another Newt. We got plenty of HP. And... We want to go this way. Ah! No! Frags! Frags! Too many frags! Very small environment, too. Kind of a dodgy spot for frags. Oh, it's okay. HP is fine. We are we are a character that, that thrives on uh, long runs in multiple rooms. And the frags don't do actually a whole lot of damage, either. Get their, ah! What? Oh, they're still spawning, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Hard to say. Okay. I want to get, like, a particle cannon or something. Oh! It's an item room. I love mantling. I don't know what game I first I played that had mat mantling like the first time ever, but when uh, w whenever I picked that game up, I thought it was like the best ever. No thanks. You can reject the next scrolls. Cool. I mean, mostly useless. I'm probably not going to get another one, but still cool. Okay, so let's let's head back. Uh, we want to go up. Yeah, visually, this is really nice looking. Um. Okay, so we've got a shit ton of frogs. I'm just going to probably run the... Run around the outside for a little while. We'll wait for the frogs to spawn. They like to spawn directly... Uh, directly next to me. Not infrequently, and it's super annoying. And I want to stay away from that scroll just in case it stops me from moving. It looks like most of the frogs are down below, though. All 
Okay, shit ton of frogs down there. Holy shit, that's a lot of frogs. That is, that is altogether way too many frags. I think that's a shotgun. I think I might switch for the shotgun, honestly. The bow ain't bad, but, uh... Okay, let's do Onk and Shotgun. Okay, gonna have to watch my ammo a little bit, but it should be fine. I just need something for, like, decking enemies that... I couldn't normally otherwise kill. And I think a shotgun would be appropriate. Okay, so I don't know where Ghosty McJerky Pants is. Where'd he go? Inside the wall, from what I can tell. No, he's not in here. What? The oh, he's up there. Dick. There he goes. I don't like that guy. He's just kind of mean. It's never worth fighting these guys in close quarters. It doesn't look like there's much in there. Alright, uh, we're not done yet. Who's left? Another bull. Unfortunately, the bull, bull, pig... Things just kind of blend in. Oh well. Hi. Mission time trial. Do we have enemies? Doesn't look like it. killing myself just to get through here. And I'm not entirely sure where it is. Oh my god! Yeah, I got distracted taking that upper route, but there's nothing here, and now I'm gonna have to go back through that whole business. Yeah, we definitely don't take falling damage. Well, I'll remember for next time. That's a mean, mean room. If you've never seen it before, it's like, what's even the point? I guess maybe I should actually keep that in mind. If I've never seen a time trial room before. Yeah, this whole back section that goes around. Like, what's the point of it? There's none. It's dumb. Oh, there is a door somewhere over here. Well, screw it. It's not worth my time. I'm pretty injured anyway. Huh. Alright, I feel like this might work pretty dang well. It, uh, where's the, where's the dude that shot? Oh, there he is. Like, the daggers just do work. And we get a lot of ammo pickups, too, so it should be fine. Okay. Just gotta be kinda careful here. These guys are hurty. But we're fine. Okay. Don't forget to go back for the scroll in the room where I left my shotgun behind. You know, you're correct. I, I did forget about that. 
Let's see how far back that is. Is that in this room? That might actually be gone. Like, I think straight up it disappeared. Same thing with my shotgun. Because I'm not seeing it anymore. Well, it's gone. Let's see, is Twitch voting on? Unfortunately, uh, it is not. I have to see it to convert it. All right, well, that's fine. Let's see, what does Twitch voting do in this game? It gives you scrolls, which I'm like, I'm down for having. It just didn't work earlier, and I didn't want to mess around with it too much because uh, I wanted to give a couple shots to the game before I, like, messed around with it. Okay, so we got a bunch of the di dive bombing sk skull dudes. Try and kill the dive bombing skulls before I go for the the dude summoners. Oh yeah, there it is. Probably should have actually converted that into uh, money. Now that I'm thinking about it, or er, food. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well, we've got some health here. Ow! I thought it was fine. I guess it wasn't. Yeah, well, I mean, ultimately, when it comes down to it, I wasn't expecting to ace this one. Where's the last guy? Must be up above. Shit. Oh, that's a bunch of enemies. Honestly. Yeah, this game, the, my chat's also pretty sadistic when it comes to putting these things together. Uh, so it's like, it's a lot easier for me to learn this game without Twitch integration rolling. Uh, and then coming, you know, come back later. Uh, to do it properly. Okay, let's convert this all to meat, because I'm going to die if I don't. Okay. Let's see, we're good. We are good. Uh, I guess I'll just grab the money. Is there anything else in here? Holy shit, that was a tough- this is a tough room. Okay, and then all the way back down. I'm so glad there's no falling damage in this game. Ow. Okay, so the floating demon dudes are brutal. Probably could have actually used that ammo pickup, but I'll live. Ow, really? He took like an alternate route? Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, let's see, do we have anything else? Yes. We're still pretty much dead. Like, this is one of those games that once you start taking damage, it's kind of hard to climb back up. Once I get the uh, necessary upgrades, it'll be a lot easier. Oh, ow. Oh, hi. Now I'll just use the onk. We want to start trying to drag my HP back up. I've got 3,000 gold, which puts me in a very good position for recovering. Uh, or not recovering, but you know, we'll just, we'll just accept death to some degree and well, come back later. Ow, come on. 
Thought I killed all of them. Clearly I hadn't. Give me that food. Okay, Phoenix does a lot of damage. I should probably remember to use Phoenix more. Now, did that kill all of them? That did. Okay. And we get... Whatever that is. Gets rid of bad scrolls. Hey! Neat. And... Let's get rid of the uh, throwing knives. Alternatively, I could keep the throwing knives and get rid of Phoenix. Nah, 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 nah. That'd be silly. Uh, let's see, where's the where's the door? Still further down. Now, there's a lot of almost unused levels level design. Which is odd. It's not bad. It's just odd. Okay. So let's see how this gun goes. That's not bad. Pretty accurate. Which is a plus. Unfortunately, we've got a shit ton of... We've got a shit ton of... What is it? What are they hitting? What are they even aiming for? I don't know. Um... Oh yeah, we've got a shit ton of pots all over the place. Makes it really difficult to actually, like, uh, go through these levels. Oh, and that just connects back to the challenge room. Which, hold on, hold the phone. Oh, it's just over here. Oh, that would have sucked even harder. Holy shit, alright. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna use and abuse the fact that I've got some homing shots here. Okay, so I can throw out a weapon if I want to. Not a high priority. Yeah, because we've got the big ammo drops, we can actually kind of... Uh, reliably... We can kind of reliably uh, use the Phoenix now. Okay, so I think that's the extent of this level. Yeah, I don't see any other doorways to really mess with. So, yeah, let's just get out of here. I think the staircase was down this way. See, it does kind of imply that there's another treasure chest in the treasure room, but I think that's just marked. Alright. So the enemies are going to get even scarier from here on out. I'm just going to try and grab as much gold as I possibly can and then... Just deal. Uh, where was the door? There's the door. A door. You know what? Especially this room? Might be a situation he... Uh. How am I taking some... Oh, I'm touching spikes! They looked like grasses. Well, we made it to the halfway point-ish. Okay, so let's... He has plus attack. Let's keep going Sekhmet versus... So the Redneck active skill or passive skill. Why is his damage so much higher? Let's take a look at Sekhmet here. Or do the, each of the characters have separate upgrade trees? No, they don't have separate upgrade trees. The Redneck just uh, is tougher. Okay, so that's really expensive. 
Let's keep taking a look at... Free weapon. Oh. That's cool. Base speed. Gold picked up. Alright, a lot of these are pretty dang good. <sighs> what do we do? Let's get the merchant. That's a permanent upgrade I can get immediately. Okay, so I can increase the gold gain by a small amount. Not that helpful. Alright. Oh! Extra jump! Okay, so there are branches that come off of each of these, too. So we have Seth... Abunet. You can run backwards. There's a stump in your position that will attract enemy fire. Falcon will attack the nearest enemy. Bonus damage over long ranges. Well, I'm gonna have to... Just start getting things. Anyway, what does the merchant have for me? Grants you a scroll as you enter the pyramid. Multiple scrolls. Map. Oh, pyramid will be the same as the last time you visited, but all the gold will be gone. And we gotta get the uh, blueprints for the other things. Okay. Well, this is cool. Now, it looks like the tree also grows. Yeah. So, not only is it an upgrade tree, tree, but it also, um... Can I go this way? Pyramid is closed for now. Uh, it, it grows as, as you grow it. That's cool. 